Dr. Manzanero, uh, sir, you guys, uh, I will have a team of um, health officials, you guys are here at the Clinical International Report. Talk to us about what is happening. What you can share with us at this time? I believe uh, the, the, the travel the travel screening is, is what is being done at this point in regards to influenza surveillance. I guess particular interest in the novel coronavirus situation. Uh, so what we've been doing measures at ports of entry and especially here at the international and either at, the, at border management is to get a complete uh, understanding of where these individuals are coming from. I guess uh, we really know that uh, they are traveling everywhere, so it's not only through the U.S. So we really need to heighten our kind of surveillance and step up our game to see how we can see the individuals who are coming in. Uh, they may not necessarily be uh, Chinese nationals, but they are any traveler who is coming from, from that area. So we're particularly interested in seeing where they are coming from and getting that kind of information back to us. Uh, the purpose, of course, is to get a, a concern and see where we can follow up these individuals in the event that anything should come around. Fortunately, the ones that we've been screening are all asymptomatic. Uh, Nobody is coming in sick at the moment. Uh, the only cases that we did have concern that we had to go and do some screening were those in the north. Uh, but we do know who are those cases. We jumped in it. Uh, samples were taken, and as we had mentioned, uh, one was negative and the other was the seasonal flu. Uh, so for now, uh, you see a lot of travelers at the moment. So what is being done is to look at that kind of information from the travelers coming in. Uh, so we're, we're basically not, uh, we're screening everybody, that's everybody, including crew members, everybody that's coming off, off the day, to just ensure uh, these travel kind of history that we need from them. And of course, if they have the, 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 the screening history, or the travel history, sorry, is to pull them aside and see, okay, let, let me see, uh, do a little more in-depth interview. And we have nurses and staff here who are actually doing the physical screening, like temperature checks and all of that. So that is in place right now. So. How do you ensure, sir, that uh, these people who are being screened do not feel like they're being discriminated? No, I, I think it's, it's, it's basically for all. Uh, I mean, the, the, the public has to know that, that travel is travel. Uh, globalization and the movement of people is not only from that area. I mean, we have U.S. nationals, Canadian nationals, Belizeans, uh, everybody is traveling. Uh, they are making connections in that part of the, the, the area as well. You have Taiwan, you have other areas that people are coming from that has ongoing transmission. So for us, we really need to see what kind of measures are in place. Uh, we do know that screenings are being done on that side and at exit screenings. But as well, the U.S. and other places are doing their own screenings. For us, this is a third measure to ensure that that kind of screening is being met.